welcome it is you by djsprc we have on the table my creighton uh 6s blx v3 i'm slowly upgrading it to a v4 with some uh upgraded parts on it that is basically a necessity with this vehicle uh, you will notice I do have other videos on the front center brace, chassis brace, should I say, and rear uh, chassis brace. And now the other, it is pretty much a necessity to do on this vehicle, is the wing mount. To replace it with the RPM version. Because I know a lot of people basically are constantly breaking that mount it is not that strong uh, and going to the rpm version totally worth it especially for you americans out there uh rpm in america that i know of it's still this way is warranted for life unfortunately here in canada rpm is not warranted for life anymore it used to it's, it is unfortunate, but nothing we can do about that. But one thing I can say about RPM, their plastic is a lot more durable, a lot more flexible, will take a beating before breaking. And today, that's what I'll show you to what will change. At the same time, there is in the back of the wing here, some uh, in front here too, if I correctly, some bracing. It is plastic on that vehicle. I'm going to put them in aluminum. They had them in my local hobby shop at the same time. And I said, why not? The RPM part number is 81642. 81642. And the CNC aluminum wing post from Armo is AR320217. I'll need to remove my back tire. Because I'll need to remove the physical bracing to the rear brace. Put it on the side. And when I do that, I always use my tire as a stand. Got my pliers. Now I'm just going to make sure that my two spacers, put them aside. And I will need to remove this here too. I've got the best pliers with me right now. There we go. Make sure not to mix yourself. There is two link. The bigger one goes on the bottom and the smaller goes on top. Just make sure my nut stays there at the same time. Now we're going the back of the vehicle itself. It's going to be hard for me to show you. Right here, you'll have two more screws to remove. That they're screwed in the wing mount. That are two mil. That's why the drill is not wanting to. It's the difference in power drills. <laughs> Brush, brushless. And 
And once that's done, you'll be able to remove the complete wing off the vehicle. We'll just put the vehicle aside. Now we'll need to remove these two nuts. And again, I think they're the same size of nuts, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, what we'll need to do is remove the wing. Now, if you wanted to, I think I might have them here. I'll check. The spacer for the uh, physical wing mount, they do exist in aluminum. And I think I do have them. Yes, I do. That is part number AR320215. Wing uh, bottom but woo. Wing button aluminum red. And again, I'm not a big fan of red, but that's what they come with. It is what it is. Uh, yes, we do need the, the mounts. And we'll need the screws too. A lot easier for a drill. Put that aside. Pop these out. And these are the two wing posts and let's grab our parts and what i do some people will rip this bag completely open i don't simple reason i do put the old parts back in if i ever do sell the vehicle it's I don't know if it really is it's that important. It shows like you kept the original parts. You're able to give them the parts back to the client. Or not client, the buyer, should I say. And I do the same thing too when I do repair vehicles for certain cl clients. That way, if I sell a vehicle again, I'm able to see here, here's all the original parts of the vehicle at the same time. And it ups the value of the vehicle when you do something like that at this No, there is a right and left. It goes like this. Now let's do these guys here. It is a lot easier. Grab our spacer. Put our screw through our spacer. I'm going to put both of them but not gonna fully threaded one completely in. I'm just gonna do the top one here and I'm gonna start screwing the uh, aluminum post in it until I get to the point that it hits the, the brace. I'm gonna find my two mil and finish it by hand. And do the same thing for the other one. Now you don't need to go f aluminum on these parts here. Like I said, they had them in stock at my hobby shop. And I said, why not? They're not that expensive. That's my two cents. But 
when I went there, I really wanted the uh, RPM mount. Because I know a lot of people that broke their, their wing mount. Especially with the version 1, 2. Even the version 3 was the same thing too. I'm just lucky with this one here. I never broke mine. Maybe I was not hard enough on it. Maybe, maybe not. Put this aside. Put these aside too. I'm gonna install my nuts in the mount right now before I forget about them. There we go. These I'm going to put at the end because I'm going to reinstall the wing afterwards. <clears throat> I'm just going to repass it the same way I took it out. Got one of my screws. Uh, the other one stayed in the mount. I'm gonna start these by by hand, so I don't want to strip them, and I want to make sure they're in the exact location. That way everything gets aligned correctly. Again, you don't need to go tighten super crazy. It is screwing into plastic. That's done. Even then it's a lot more solid. Let's grab our smaller screw. That one's in. Grab our two spacer. Small spacer first in. Then our big guy. I push this one in a little bit too much. You might notice a little bit of pressure on it. Because if you know if you see it by the video, but the screw is like this, it's if you see if I put the pressure up back up, it goes back straight. This vehicle doesn't need that brace. Solid. Even then with the brace here installed, it, there's still a lot of flex. And reinstall our tire. And we'll be able to rinse all the wing. Grab our nuts. Or wing nuts, should I say. With our stock screws. There's one. And there's the two. Grab a screwdriver. And that one's in. 
while I'm finishing this. If you guys have any comments or questions, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. It's still free on, with YouTube right now. It's a limited time offer, should I say. <laughs> but yeah, if you do uh, want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it. It does help the channel a lot. And this is how you install the RPM rear wing mount. Thank you for watching.